I like that my hair isn't perfect because I feel like more people can relate to me than somebody who has perfect curly hair. You can brush it, all the curls bounce back, you have great elasticity and you know, you have the shine when you put the product on, your hair just curls. I don't have that and a lot of girls don't have that and that's why I feel like my content is more relatable because I'm going to give you the everyday struggle of somebody who does not have perfect curly hair. Hey y'all, what's up? So I scheduled a curly cut at a hair salon here in Philadelphia and if you know anything about curly cuts and being natural, when you go to the hair salon to get a curly cut, they ask that you come in either day one or day two hair. This ain't day one or day two hair for it look cute. It look cute, but it ain't day one, day two hair. So we need to go ahead and get in the shower, wash our hair, and prep for our hair appointment tomorrow. And you guys are gonna come with me through the whole process so you can see how I like to do my curly cuts. Once my hair gets down to a certain length, it's no longer has that volume that I like. It's more so just long, which is okay, but I prefer that fullness and that volume and that like beautiful natural hair look. So I need to go ahead and wash my hair and prep it for tomorrow's appointment we're going to be going in with our curl days products i have their creamy shampoo and detangling conditioner for our wash day products i'm also going to be styling my hair in the shower and you guys are going to watch me pattern sent me their oh is it palo paleo santo leave-in conditioner mousse and a styling cream so hopefully this is enough to do my whole hair this is like a little travel size type of deal okay y'all let's go ahead and start our wash day people say they have more success doing their entire wash and style in the shower so that's what we're gonna do i did go ahead and put my hair up in halves because when i am shampooing and conditioning it just works a lot better for me when my hair is um split half down the middle some people do it in fours but i like halfway it just works for me so of course i started off with that shampoo now i like to shampoo my hair three times i don't know if you guys realize but the first time you usually shampoo your hair you have so much buildup that you don't even see the suds it's that second time and the third time that those suds starts to form and that's when your hair is actually getting cleansed so that's why it's important to wash your hair two to three times just to make sure all the buildup and dirt is off However, once you do cleanse your hair, you need to reapply moisture back into your hair. So that's what I'm doing right here. I just went ahead and took my Curl Days products. They work really, really well for my hair. Their line is like a creamy base consistency. So it does what it needs to do. And as you can see, I break my hair down into small sections and I'm twisting it up. That way, when I go back to add in my styling products, my hair is already kind of broken down into sections and it's just gonna work better for me. So it doesn't take me long long to um, condition my hair at all. I pop it up and out the way and then I start on the other side. Once I'm done that, I come back and I start to style. Now, I have never used these products before. I've heard wonderful things about patterns, so they sent me, it looks like their travel size kit. I did go ahead and start with their leave-in conditioner first, and I realized that I applied way too much, y'all. These products are super, super moisturizing, and the fact that I still have to come in with the cream, I still have to come in with the gel, it was just a lot of product on my hair so the first section was too much i made sure not to add that much leave-in conditioner to my hair the second go round. by the way i like to use the unbrush to detangle my hair the absolute best way for me to detangle is to put that section under water start at my ends and work my way up to the roots and the unbrush just does a really good job at getting all those knots out especially when my hair is just under the water that is so so important so I really did enjoy using the pattern products. After my shower, I sat under the hooded dryer and I allowed my hair to dry. And now we're on the next day. Hello, everyone. So we are out of the shower. Hey, how you doing? Um, yeah, this is how my hair looks. I'm a little bit upset, y'all. I have all, let me start driving because I'm late. I've always struggled with my hair. I come from a background of when I was when I was growing up, I put heat on my hair like there was no tomorrow. And in 2014, I stopped putting heat on my hair and I started my natural hair journey. But even though I decided to transition and I slowly but surely was cutting off little by little, I'm still having a hard, like this is a, a day one wash and go. And like the thing is, 
I do have nice pretty curly hair but it's covered and the hair on top does not curl and it's frizzy and it's poofy and it does not take to product I can't get to find curls like in the front of my head and I don't know do I chop off my all of my hair like I don't know what to do to get my hair to curl hopefully uh, the salon will fix it I don't know like I said I have really pretty curly hair but it's underneath of the like frizziness and I don't know how to I don't know y'all so you can hear the frustration in my voice but hopefully she can fix it the last time I went and got my hair cut she actually wound up doing a wash and go in the back and then in the front where it's like frizzy at she was just putting like braids or twists I can't remember if it was braids or twists but yeah that's what she did she was like this is what works for you you can't do what everybody else is doing you have to do what works for you and so if a wash and go in the back and then you can put some twists or braids in the front and then once it dries just take them out and then it all looks the same then that's what you have to do I don't know and I've been like going back and forth if I should just cut my hair and the only reason I want to cut my hair is because this little piece in the front does not want to curl and I'm like that doesn't make sense why would you cut my hair goes down past my bra strap why would I cut all that off because the the top layer in the front doesn't want to curl but it makes my hair it makes my hair look bad bro like I, I don't know I get really upset over my hair because I'm a natural hair influencer and I want to show you guys how to have beautiful curly hair but how am I supposed to show y'all if I don't have it you know I don't have beautiful I don't I don't know and I honestly feel like more people more people can relate to me because I don't have like the perfect curls and a lot of people in this world also have hair that looks like mine I mean your hair is probably curly in the back and it's damaged in the front it is what it is the reason why our hair is damaged in the front is because we play in our hair this is like it's right in our face so we're going like this all day long like now that I stepped I can kind of show you guys you can might be able to see um, a little bit of my curl pattern but I don't want to do too much because I'm driving it is absolutely crazy and I like that my hair isn't perfect because I feel like more people can relate to me than somebody who has perfect curly hair you can brush it all the curls bounce back you have great elasticity and you know you have the shine when you put the product on your hair just curls I don't have that and a lot of girls don't have that and that's why I feel like my content is more relatable because I'm going to give you the everyday struggle of somebody who does not have perfect curly hair it's literally just this part right here this part was gone like my hair would be okay like you can start to see the curls and another thing that I'm gonna stop doing is I'm gonna stop using the rev air to stretch my hair because I really want to work on having defined curls I want to work on getting my elasticity back elasticity is mean when you take the curl and you pull it down does it bounce back up and my hair really doesn't do that so I need to work on elasticity on my hair yeah so in order to work on elasticity um, I need to stop stretching my hair right, y'all so we are walking to our appointment hopefully she doesn't mind that I'm recording so here is the salon I like to go to can get a little bit more volume yeah, yeah i don't mind layers but okay. yeah some volume and i'm just working on definition it's more defined in the back and like i, I feel like all my curls are you know, that's how the curls they like to show off in the back i like, know like, show off curls from yeah exactly <laughs> exactly you probably even do like a mix of like a twist out and then like a braid out and you kind of like mix it to kind of give it like a different type of texture yeah okay we'll work with that i would say a little bit more layer okay um, so that way we can get a little bit more like volume okay in the in the interior we still want to keep all of our length mm -hmm. oh, I, know. I know invite me i want to go on like a brand trip fly me somewhere yeah so um keeping it kinky sheena she had holly berry in the movie mm, that came out it was see? like a whole like dinner mm -hmm. that they had for like some yeah. influencers and like some other moms and, and you know like what that. i think it's so though yeah and you know what i think it is i think when you have an agency okay. they just have those connections because like when i was watching um 
Fenty Hair and okay. their release party. So okay. many influencers were there, but they were there because they were with agencies. So are these influencer agencies? There are. Have you heard of um, Black Girl Digital? No. They're, yeah, they're in Atlanta. Yeah. They're based in Atlanta. Oh. They, they work with a lot of black influencers. Yeah. Okay. There's another one called, um, oh my God, Kingston Gray or something like that. Okay. That's a really big one. Okay. I definitely want to work with an agency that's like black yes. for black people. Yeah. 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 That's for sure. Mm -hmm. You know what um, brand I would really like to try? Mm -hmm. I want to try Innocence. I okay. haven't really got yeah. my hands on them yet. Maybe I, I have like a medium brand. Yeah. Yeah. I, w I would love to try them. I've also liked um, Adwa, Adwa Beauty. I haven't I've, tried it. I they're heard good. Of it. Okay. Adwa, I think I'm saying it correctly. Yeah. I've been obsessed with also As I Am. I love their products. As I Am is like a, a, a been out for a minute. I like their products. Yeah. Yeah. There's, a, there's a, a lot of lot of brands to get to to try. I yeah, feel like are. back back in the early 2000s we didn't have this and it's nice but i feel like there's a lot mm -hmm. of competition yeah. and just it's a little bit overwhelming on what to try now yeah now have you worked with um Yale at all over the years i haven't okay i've tried their i actually like that their pomegranate and honey line works fine for me right, right. i don't know what the problem is yeah. <laughs> i haven't used their other lines but i do like their that pomegranate line okay. they have like a curling custard that i like okay but no, I I haven't been using them recently. I don't you know, right. stand out the light with that. Exactly. I feel kind of bad for them. I don't know. And I didn't understand that why she was saying that she's still in charge and she's a CEO. Yeah, I don't know she how doesn't have works. ownership. I have no idea. So you're just a face. Like, you're just a spoke. Like yeah. Just a spoke. It's like, oh my goodness. Sometimes you love your hair. Sometimes like, just what is this? Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> just having one of those days. I'm like, oh man. I think it's because it was a day one wash and go and I just didn't have the definition that I wanted. Got it. Especially after using products that are supposed to work. Gotcha. You know? Gotcha. But I think it also comes from you just have to accept like this is your hair. Yeah. And your hair is not going to look yeah. like what you see. I think people just want what they see on Instagram and yeah, that's not it. It, it, it. This is your hair and you have to love it and take care of it as yeah. such. And I'm glad you found an appointment too because I did when you were asking, it was like, oh, one pop right on up. So perfect. Look at, listen. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, because you always be like, oh, <laughs> like, I need to tell you. Yeah, like, is this, is this true? Like, nothing is about <laughs> Right, right, right. It doesn't right. even sound right. Yeah, look at it. It got volume better, already. Yeah. All right, so now I'm just clean up the perimeter now because we definitely just wanted to focus on the interior. And we got some little curlies at the very nape, so I'm going to just target them and yeah. just clean them up. Trying to control the outcome But God got some other plans, yeah I know the love doesn't make me numb, no But sometimes I'm feeling out of my hands To see the things that you've never seen You gotta go where you've never gone By stepping out the comfort zone Just stepping out the comfort zone My favorite right now is called the Unbrush. Okay. Have you yeah, heard I'm of it? About it. Oh, I haven't gotten okay. it though. It, it's good. Okay. It's really good. I like it. It doesn't um, pull out a lot of hair mm -hmm. and it's really easy to detangle. I do my detangling in the shower. Mm -hmm. It's just easier when the water's kind of running on my yeah. hair. But I do like um, the Felicia Leatherwood. Mm -hmm. I like her brush. Yeah, that one's nice too. Um, I haven't really gotten a tangle teaser too much. Yeah, this is an old one. This might yeah, have been like around good. the first version of it. Like, yeah. I'm pretty sure they changed it since mm -hmm. then. I don't know. They, they have like a lot now. now but i ponder over shit that i'm still lacking providing for my family's my real passion so i stay hungry until the meals cashing i got it look like sleeping this is their number five okay to so like condition and men split in the scent is really good yeah, I hear a lot of um, really good things about Olaplex. So do you use the same products on all your clients? Or you do you kind of just base it off of like what you think they need? Yeah. 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 Like this would work best for you? Yeah. Based off this. That's good. Yeah. And that's like a twist out. And that's kind of like, mm, that can change too. You can do yeah. a twist out with foam. Mm-hmm. Some, mm -hmm. some clients. Mm -hmm. or putting even a little bit of a hole like a light gel for mm -hmm. some point like when you're in yeah it, it, it changes yeah. based yeah. on the scenario yeah when was the last time you did a big chop on somebody 
I'm sure it was recent. Yeah, <laughs> not, we're in October, not in October, but definitely last month. Yeah, somebody um, came September. and was like, just yeah, cut yeah, it yeah. off, and they I liked like it. I had like back to back. It was like two people oh. in it, and then we. That is like, like such a big week. step. Like yeah. you were cutting your hair, That's and crazy. I was like, oh, I'm like, I would okay, cry. <laughs> I would cry. Before me get my back bent, bending over, I got the world on my shoulder like I'm Atlas. I tell the stories of a soldier had to outlive endurance for mad shit. The energy's past tense, it got me out my element, but I'm chasing this comfort until you can't contest it. Uh, trying to win a race, you must be a contestant. Yeah, models always get it by every measure, meaning even if you're carrying a deadly weapon. Yeah, spend so much time trying to fix imperfections, cause I wanna see love when I see my reflection trying to control the outcome mm. but god got some other plans yeah i know the love doesn't make me numb no but sometimes the feelings out of my hands to see okay oh yes yes i totally understand i like what i'm doing so far um let's see what the boils what number is that or does it have a number? Number seven. Oh. It does. It does. I was looking it at their does. website. I was like, yes. hey, I gotta yes. find the numbers. Yes. <laughs> it's crazy. I wonder how did I get all this definition? Because I didn't walk in here like this. Are, I was sad. Yeah. I, just I was like, should again. I cut my hair? What is going on? Uh, oh just gotta God. use the right products. Yeah. <laughs> but I know inside that I'm the element. Let it breathe. Like, yeah. really really good it's defined it's yeah. has the volume it has the definition i see the shine yeah i really like it i like the cut i could tell my ends are healthy everything's yes. even yes. thank you <laughs> okay you do, you do that <laughs> okay thanks again marissa you're Have a, you. i'm a hugger <laughs> okay yes for sure i got you all right thank you <laughs> y'all i'm screaming okay Go to K. Louise Boutique in Maniunk, Philadelphia. Book with Miss Marissa Peel. Okay. She got me right, y'all. The cut. I was literally so sad going into the appointment. I'm like, do I need to cut my hair off? No. Honey, you need to use the right products. Olaplex? What? Yeah, I was on their website when I was getting, drying my hair. Their products are a little bit expensive, but I completely understand why. Like, oh, I got some curls and it looks good. Uh, hey y'all, so this is the end of the video. I just wanted to come on here one more time since it's been about four or five hours since I've been to the salon. It's fully dry. It looks real, it looks really good. <laughs> Okay, it looks really good. And I'm happy that I still have my lens. And this is how it looks in the back. I'm so happy that I still have all of my length, y'all. That was important to me. I didn't really want to... I was going to chop it all off. I was upset. I was upset. But, um, yeah, I didn't know that using <laughs> Olaplex would have bought my girls back to life like this. Uh, yeah, so this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and coming with me throughout my wash day. I did a whole um, shower styling process. You guys got to see me and come to the salon with me, meet my stylist here in Philadelphia. And I'm just, I'm happy. I'm really, really happy. She really did her thing with these products. And I love the cut. I love the volume. I just, I feel really pretty. So that's important. Your hair should make you feel good. Now, if you are on your natural hair journey just like me, then I have some more goodies for you. Make sure you click here next to watch the next video on my channel, and I will see you guys next time. My name is Aaliyah. This is, as always, Aaliyah, where we always keep it real. I'll catch you on the next one. Deuces. <laughs> and I don't get why I'm out my element. Sometimes I get high, I'm out my element. They act as surprised.